Hi, we're Nicole and Nico, full-time travelers adventuring wherever the wind takes us. We spent the past few months touring the Middle East before making an unexpected detour across the Atlantic Ocean and arriving in Mexico. We landed in Mexico City and loved exploring the vibrant capital, but have since made our way to Oaxaca, a new and colorful city that we are visiting for the sole purpose of filling ourselves up with as much of the local cuisine as our stomachs can handle. We made our way to Oaxaca yesterday on a very long bus ride, fraught with mechanical issues. But we're here, and we're really here to eat. Oaxaca is known as the food capital of Mexico, so we have found ourselves a local market, it's a Sunday, and we're gonna eat our way through it. Okay. <laughs> Gracias. Barbacoa, I think, translates to barbecue. It's kind of like a Mexican style barbecue where they take like lamb or goat, I think in this case lamb, spiced, and they uh, stew it over a fire for an extended period of time until it gets really, really soft. And then you can put in like a kind of like a taco form, and then he puts it on top of the meat, and then let's seep in the broth even more into the into the taco shell. It's gonna be really messy to eat, but I'm gonna give it a shot anyways. A little bit spicy. <laughs> that is soft, soft meat. Wow. It's so um, flavorful. Like, feels like it's been cooking for a long time. That is for meat lovers for sure. That was awesome. Oh, look at this. Oh, man. I don't know if that's like goat cheese or feta cheese, but. That's what I'm here for. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. I think that is bean. Maybe it's like black bean? Or right, some crispy, fresh tortilla. Mmm. Delicious. <laughs> it's good, right? Yeah, it's good. I think it is like, like almost like refried beans. Mmm. -hmm. Maybe. Cheese and like a really crispy tortilla. Mm. It's a good snack. I think it's gonna be an amazing snack. Yeah. It's like midday, three o'clock. And it's it is salty. It's like eating potato mm. chips. With nutrients. There's gotta be some nutrients in those beans. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. <laughs> so I guess that's how they flatten it right on the spot. Wow. One empanada. Uh, one melota? Uno? Uno? Gracias. Empanada de pollo o quesillo? Uh, pollo? Pollo. These empanadas look amazing. So we're, she's using like the fresh bread that she's just making in front of us here. Okay, so I got an empanada, which is basically just a, like it's a dough, uh, typically fried or kind of baked like we had it there. And it's filled with usually meat and sauces. This is filled with chicken and some sort of green sauce. It looks incredible. It looks a little spicy. Mmm, that's good. It's almost got a taste of like cinnamon or something. Oh yeah. Oh, it's spicy! Oh my god, I can start sweating. That's a lot. Oh, the tortilla's really soft. I thought it was gonna be harder and crunchier, but the tortilla's really soft. Mm. Honestly, the spice is overwhelming. I and mean, there's cilantro in here. That's quite overwhelming as well. Which is good, I love cilantro. It's very, like, it's, it's plain yet very flavorful, if that makes sense. Like, there's not a lot in it, um, but, like, it packs a serious punch. <laughs> this dish ain't messing around. <laughs> oh, gracias. Oh, wow. So I got the molotis, and it's, like, fully kitted up. So it's like a, more of like a snack slash appetizer. It's, uh, I understand it's corn and uh, potato based on the outside and then um, fried and then they've got a bunch of different ingredients inside. Don't know quite yet, but I'll take a bite. Look at this monster, it's heavy. Mmm, so it's mostly potato fill. It reminds me of like, almost like a tater tot because of, of like the kind of cheesy like tomato on the inside. I don't think there's cheese in there. It's like potato and tomato. 
but like the garnishing on it is really turning it into like Mexican tater tot. That is yummy. It's like an empanada. No wait, that's an empanada. empanada. <laughs> I think you think it's samosa. Oh, yeah, because I'm not at all like, spicy. Not at all spicy. Yeah, it's just like kind of more plain potatoes on the inside. It's, it's a good thing. It's a good snack. Um, you know, you know, see, that is, is the name, uh, Yama. Ah, uh, the Yama. See, it's called. This is this is the Kowal Buñuel. Nicole has spotted some desserts. How much? Okay, so we found we found some desserts. I just picked the two that looked the best to me. Pastry filled with some sort of like custardy goo. It's good. It's like, you don't need a lot, but it's not very sweet. This is really nice. I feel like a lot of the desserts we've had lately have been coated in like sugar water and like oozing with it. This is not, which is a nice change of pace. Better than kanafe though? No. Mm. Nothing is better than kanafe. Some sort of fried dough with almost like marshmallow paste inside. <laughs> mm. I think it's like whipped cream inside. Oh, no, it's kind of like marshmallow. I was right. Okay, this is, yeah, I like this one better. <laughs> So I just grabbed a uh, popular Oaxacan dessert. This is uh, nieves, or nieves. It uh, translates to snow, and it looks like a looks like a sorbet. It's like a water-based ice cream. They say. Mmm. Oh, that's really good. It's, like, it's almost like shaved ice with a lot of uh, flavoring. It's so sweet. That's good. This would be awesome on a hot day. So your healthy ice cream, did you call it? I yeah. like that. I'm gonna run with that. It has like a spice of some kind in, like um, nutmeg or cinnamon maybe. What we got is the newest flavor, which we looked up and translates to nut. So it makes sense. I think it's, I think it's almonds in here. It could be walnuts. Mm. Whatever it is, it's delicious. This might be the best part of the day so far. <laughs> this is really good. Tacaritas. Tacarillas. Tacarillas. <laughs> it looks so good, but. We just had that in Mexico City, so we're gonna leave room in the belly. But man, she looks good. That's it. Okay, so this is tejate, and it's made with uh, corn flour, I believe, and um, fermented cacao beans. So that top is like. I think it's like the base of the corn flour. Apparently it's really popular specifically here in the Oaxaca region. Oh! Oh, it's quite nice. It tastes like... Kind of like... Really watery chocolate milk. Is it cold? It's cold. And she put like... She started with like some sugar almost, like sugar water to begin with, which I believe is not like normally how it's served like traditionally. But I think it makes it really yummy. I think I'm glad she did. Okay, I also thought I would hate the stuff on top. I thought it'd be like really gross. It tastes really, like it's nice. It's like a nice texture. It's just really soft and I don't know. It gives it some like, some uniqueness. Oh, weird. Yeah, it is kind of like watered down chocolate milk, mm. but like with like syrup in it. Yeah, it's good. I actually really like it. Yeah. It's really like just refreshing and gentle. It's a little too watered down for me. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. But the stuff mm. on top is pretty cool. It's like a little weird powdery thing. I know, I think it's part of like, I think it's the corn flour. Whatever it's, it is, I like it's it. It's good. Yeah, I like it. I'm a fan. We got a massive one, it's the Clayuda. It's almost like a Oaxacan pizza, like a Mexican pizza. You got like a thin toasted tortilla shell on the outside, and then you got like a filling of chicken, cheese, peppers, avocado on the inside. It looks packed and it's super hot. Mm. That is the pizza. No tomato sauce. Oaxacan style. 
That's really good. You can really taste the cheese, the chicken, and the avocado. And the toasted tortilla shell is just that's awesome. Mm. <laughs> Cheesy. Yeah. That's really good. Oh, it's actually quite plain. Like I don't think there's any like spice outside of like the natural ingredients. No, it's just like chicken and cheese. And avocado. And avocado. I think the avocado mm, makes it really like different. Them. That's yum. But we're gonna be stuffed. We got chocolate and which is like a uh, Mexican hot dog. Gracias. <laughs> wow. Not messing around with that hot chocolate. How do you even how do you consume this? I feel like I should eat this. Look at that. Look at that. You see how like the cut is when I eat this? Mexican hot chocolate. It's said to be like the mother of all hot chocolate because of course chocolate is found in this region of the world, of course, right? Originally. Mexicans and sort of Latin America have been consuming chocolate for a very long time. And apparently their Mexican hot chocolate is the best. This is like a whole meal. I guess it's usually eaten at breakfast. I'm a little nervous to eat this, I'm not gonna lie. I don't love the look of it. I don't love the look of it. I'm not in love with the consistency. Okay. Oh. When in Mexico. Okay. It's like a mix between chocolate and oatmeal. <laughs> like ch oh. chocolate and oatmeal. <laughs> Okay, that's interesting. It's like, I thought it was gonna be really chocolatey, but it's a bit more bland. It's like plain oatmeal, but like without the, the texture of oatmeal, just like if you only, if you strained out the oatmeal and just had the liquid, that's kind of like what it's, when it's like drinking it. No. Not anymore. <laughs> Not my favorite thing here. Okay. I can see how this could be a good breakfast. You've actually had a lot of it. I think yeah, he likes it's, it. It's pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. That's good because well, not my favorite. Alright, once again, we're done another food tour and we are absolutely stuffed. <laughs> but we have more but dessert. Always a little bit of room for dessert. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, we certainly didn't grab all the foods that Oaxaca is known mm -hmm. for. But um, we small little tasting and more than fills up for the day. Mm, this is delicious. I think this is a great way to end our day. And um, yeah, we are headed out of Oaxaca actually this evening on an overnight bus. What fun. Heading over to a place called Puerto Escondido. We're so excited. It's on the water, it's on the beach, and yeah. we're super pumped. So yeah, gonna we, go get ourselves some vitamin D. And have to swim off all these calories that we've uh -huh. taken uh -huh. in today. Maybe we'll so. try surfing or something. <laughs> So we'll leave you guys there. Thanks for watching. Also, we learned that a second ago, the bean thing I had, it's called a memelita. Yes, memelitas. <laughs> Which, actually that's all, that's all I got. It's Ooh, almost like a is. water substitute. Yeah. With all the sugar in it. Though. With all the sugar. <laughs> perfect, perfect water substitute. Might as well be water. <laughs> Basically.